before he could take even one bite of the delicious food, up floated a Nancy the spider. A Nancy poked his head into the water and longingly watched Turtle savor the wonderful banquet all by himself. <laughs> and so a Nancy learned that when you try tricking someone, you sometimes might find yourself getting tricked in return. And that was the story of a Nancy and Turtle. Thank you, that was great! I love that story. Is there any more? There's lots and lots of stories here. I want to hear more about a Nancy. Okay, but I don't know where to look. That's right. Thanks. I know, we'll ask the librarian. Could you help me, please? I'll try my best. Where can I find more stories about a Nancy? Let's check the computer catalog. There, I've typed in the word a Nancy. Now the computer will tell me where we can find other stories about him. There's lots. A Nancy and the Firefly, a Nancy and the Tiger, a Nancy and the Witch. I like tigers. Roar! Now the computer says these stories are in the fairy and folktale section, which is this way. Hey, Mom. Cordy and I are looking for some books to read. Now this section is organized alphabetically by title. Do you know what that means? Well, I know my ABCs, so I guess the names of the books that start with A will be at the beginning of the shelf, and the names of the books that start with C will be at the end of the shelf. That's right. So if we're looking for a Nancy... Books about a Nancy will be near the beginning of the shelf. Oh, there's a whole bunch of Nancy books here. Thank you. You're very welcome. Here's a Nancy and the Tiger. Wow. Can I pick a book too? Sure. But how? If you see a book with pictures you like, pick that one. Okay. Hmm, found one! <laughs> <laughs> I bet this book will be funny. It's called The Clown with a Frown. You've picked Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yippee, three bears. Perfect for a bear like me. Then strap on, Cordy. Time to check out these books. I see you've chosen a Nancy and the Tiger. That's a good one. And we found two other books. No, what, Han? I think it's time we got you your own library card. Really? It's a big responsibility. Do you think you're ready? Yes, I always take good care of my own books. Remember, these aren't your own books. You'll be borrowing them. That means that you have to return your books to the library in good shape and on time. I can do it. All right, then. Could we start up a new library card, please? <laughs> and the baby bear said, Somebody's been sleeping in my bed, and there she is. Goldilocks woke up at once to see three bears all staring down at her. Ah! <gasps> screamed Goldilocks. She jumped out of the little bear's bed and ran out the door, never to be seen again. Father Bear and Mother Bear spooned some of the leftover porridge into Baby Bear's empty bowl, and they all sat down to breakfast, and everything was just right. The end. Hey, somebody's been eating my cookies. Uh-oh. I wonder who did that? Somebody's been drinking my milk. Why, there's hardly any left. <laughs> Just like in Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It's Lisa Lox and the Cordy Bear. Oh, 
hard. Oh, this bed is too soft. Hmm, someone's been sleeping in this bed. Ah, this bed is just right. Oh my, someone's been sleeping in this bed. Hmm. Hey, someone's been sleeping in my bed. She must be Lisa Lox. Uh. Oh, oh, ah! <laughs> 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 I like being in my own bed, and I like having you as my friend. But when you read me a story, Lisa, I get to visit other places and meet new friends. Yeah, I like stories too, Cordy. Good night, Lisa. Good night. thinking of heading back to the library today. I finished my book last night. Me too. Great. We'll go to the library after breakfast. I'll get my books. Here, Lisa. But where's Goldilocks and the Three Bears? We just read that last night. Uh-oh. Help me look for it. I don't see it. Not here. Uh, keep looking, Cordy. I'll try the rest of the apartment. the breakfast dishes, then we can head out to the library. Everything okay, hon? I borrowed three books from the library, but I can only find two. Did you take the book out of the apartment? I just read it to Cordy last night. Why don't you try looking in your room again? I looked there already. <sighs> Where could that book be? We looked everywhere. Whoa! Why isn't the bed soft here? Hey! You found the book! Yippee! It was here all the time! It must have slipped between the covers. Lucky you found it. Just imagine if the book stayed lost. What if lots of library books got lost? <gasps> oh no! Phew, let's hope that never happens. We really enjoyed reading these books. Back so soon? We're going to borrow other books now. That's what we're here for. Can I use my own library card again? I don't see why not. Come on. What are we gonna read now? Oh, lots and lots of stories. What more could a bear ask 